There's a jungle out. There's a there's a there's a jungle out. Fighting out loud. There's a there's a there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come we ain't playing. It's the last thing on our mind. So cry much if you really really wanna stop crying. Be safe when you're home. Be safe in the streets. It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat. I never wear gold 'cause summer's always peeping by the fence. Still so cry much game and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark. I had a dream in the spring. And the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our mind So cry much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe in the streets It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold, cause summer's always peeping by the fence I still cry much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new the king Tell me friendly on the phone, see you can call us We ain't gonna call you back, say they don't know If you call us, say what you gonna do now We all come with you now There's a jungle out there and the hunt is out. There's a jungle out. There's a there's a there's a jungle out. Fighting out loud. There's a there's a there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come. We ain't playing. It's the last thing on our mind. So cry much if you really really wanna stop crying. Be safe when you're home. Be safe in the streets. It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat. I never wear gold. Cause summer's always peeping by the fence I still cry much game and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new the king Take me friendly on the phone so you can call us We ain't gonna call you Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch, and we are back top of the evening to you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a very, very wet Monday. Wet, wet, wet. A lot of rain all over, all over. Everybody's saying rain, rain, rain. As you know that song, raindrops keep falling on my head. Uh-uh. Oh, today's Wednesday. What did I just say? Oh, you know why I said Monday? <laughs> You know why I said Monday? Because something good is going to happen to me on Monday. Something really, really good is going to happen to me on Monday. So that's why I said Monday. But nevertheless, it's a beautiful, because you know, socks is a panic, man. He's starting to knock up the glass like, oh, oh, knock up the glass, it's Wednesday, it's Wednesday. No, 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 no. I know it's Wednesday. I just, off, you know, something off the cuff is that, off the bat sometimes, they can say, no. All right, no problem, no problem, no, no problem, panic, man, don't, don't panic. No problem, no, I'm not hearing anything. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, you know, it, it, it's been a rainy, rainy day. Well, I guess some of you at home, I'm, seeing not, I'm not seeing too much traffic outside the studio, so... I guess everybody's home, maybe having, you know, going to do um, dinner, making roti, making something, you know, some little fast bite before you go to sleep, but you know, you must look at Crime Watch, you must make sure all t every, everything stops at 6 o'clock. Everybody want to know what's happening, I'm sure you, I'm sure you're still, everybody's still kind of trying to get over that flood racket. Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, Persons were arrested at the social services building on Port of Spain at head, head office, social welfare office in Port of Spain there. Yeah. Apparently a senior official was taken into custody. That senior official lady, in fact, we're going to go down, maybe a little down the show. We are going to take some calls and just kind of touch. I'm going to show you the whole 20 minutes because we have it there. But you know what, tell you this to them. Rowley and his gang and his crew and all the media house in Port of Spain and wherever, they, 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 will never, they, they will never mention Ian Allen because you know why? They are fearful that I get too much publicity. But who wants to go on a stupid newspaper? You know, it's like, ah. In fact, I ain't doing nothing for the ratings. I'm doing it for the people at Trinidad and Tobago. At the end of the day. At the end of the day. So, but, the, but during the course of the show, I'll take your calls. I want to say a special hello to Sergio. They're down in Grenada right now, and they're locked on. 
with moms and everybody there, there, with her mother, and that's, um, that's Robin's wife, Sergio, I call her A. I'll tell her, but that's a, that's a, less, that's a less secret. We are good friends. But that's with Robin, his wife, and I. I say, hey, they don't know why. But that's a, it's just a joke among ourselves, but I can't tell you why. <laughs> but nevertheless, they are locked on in Grenada. And I want to say a special hello to them, and I love them so much. I mean, they really, really support us. They really, you know, during the flood, there are so many people that support us, sending stuff and whatnot. On Saturday, ladies and gentlemen, we will be going out down south, and I'm going to close it off in Mafi King and some of the areas. All right? We're going to be closing it off and that's it because we have some mattresses, we have stuff downstairs, and we have hampers. So the last bit of hampers, about 300, I have about 500 cases of water I want to give out. And maybe drop 200 in Port of Spain. And so all the helpers, and Charlene, you take note of this, all the helpers and all the volunteers be at my studio for 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock sharp on Saturday. And put the date, Saturday, 11 o'clock, all volunteers, we need truck. I'll have to call back to Malco or um, Apan um, and all the people who have their trucks and whatnot because we're going to empty this place. I'm going to empty downstairs because, as you know, downstairs part of my studio, we're going to empty it there and that's it. And I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm going to wait for another disaster. Pray to God, I don't even have another disaster. But you know, I tell you something, as I, say, as I, as I keep telling you that the... Greenvale area, that was described as the belly of the storm. But a lot of things, things are not happening in Greenvale. All over, I'm not seeing excavators, I'm not seeing tractors, I'm not seeing no kind of machinery clearing the, 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 the drains and the waterways and whatnot. I'm not seeing nothing happening. And the bigger picture, because look at St. Augustine, what they say, rain start falling in St. Augustine and flood people pushing cars. Where is this? Where is this? And it's like nothing is being done. So I don't know if they're using the rain. If the, if, if the, and, you know, and I, will, and I will put up the minister. In fact, I know what I'll do. I'll have to call Mr. Ron Sinana to find out what you really plan to do if they wait until December, to, to, to the beginning of January, to start any, any kind of work, clearing the ways. And, you know, because look, if, I tell you this. Do you know, you drive down the road, and some, drive on the road and you'll realize a lot of people, a, uh, sorry, a lot of potholes in the road. Look what, what the guy was driving his Mercedes and he, he fell into a pot, the car hit a pothole and his, his rim bent, as we say. When last you heard that word called dish? Sucks you know about that word? Your rim dish? You don't know what's that? Well, maybe that is a, well, my time's word or, or something. We should say that you know, they're near bicycle and your rim dish. So it sort of goes to something like how you, have, your, your, it's how you walk sometimes like your dish sucks? A kind of way like? Yeah, like your dish. You need a line in. But nevertheless. But so much potholes all over. And it's like, what did you what did Minister of Works and Transport do? What do you mean, show, you know, drainage all that fall under the, these people? It's like nothing is being done. And that is why I'm here to make sure things get done on your behalf. Just to let you all know, the murder toll is 459. Same period last year, it was 420. The latest victim. A 15-year-old, Kevin Wilson, succumbed to his injuries at the Port of Spain General Hospital last night. Beaten teen dies after an argument ensued from old talk, small talk. 15-year-old Kevin Wilson passed away at the Port of Spain General Hospital late last night around 9.30 p.m. According to reports around 3.30 p.m. yesterday afternoon, Kevin was walking along 7th Street, Beatham Garden, when a group of young men began teasing him. A 16-year-old boy reportedly approached him and threatened him with two, two broken bottles. One of the boys left this scene and later returned with a knife. This resulted in a struggle being ensued where Kevin was stabbed several times. Kevin was taken to the hospital. The police are still looking for the 16 year old suspects. No report has been made. Now we're going to open up the lines very early today. Very, very early because I need to hear from you what you have to say with this, with this flood, flood bacchanal. Look at Beatum. That place needs some more street lights. You know, they, you know, this government, for, be, for Beaton being a stronghold, a stronghold of, 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 that, of, of, their, of their, their political party, they treat Beaton really, really bad, boy. And see lots of things like, you know, but I tell you, don't be fooled this time, you know. Don't be fooled, you know. Don't be fooled, you know. And remember I tell you that, long time without stronghold, it's not stronghold again, you know. Stronghold will be loose hole. 
Because people are going to take that chain up again. Because you look at Beatham. Beatham is a stronghold. They're a stronghold of this, of this government political party. And you have never, if you, if you really walk through Beatham and see what's going on there, that place is a mess, you know? That place is a total, total mess. And there are good people living in Beatham, you know? Are, do you know that army um, official, that nice children, that normal people living there, there's maybe a handful in every area. In every area, it's a handful. Open up your lines. I call. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. This is the area where the incident took place on 7th Street. Hi, Kola. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. And a very, very good evening to you, Mr. Ian Allen. Hi. Ian, you just make sense out of nonsense. And tell me something. If you have a house and the house falling apart, your toilet not working, uh. would you take your hard cash and extend to more rooms? No, I'm going to fix the toilet. Exactly. You're going to fix the house. Why don't we take that 400 million that we're going to build this highway, which we really don't need yet. We don't need it yet. True. Probably we need it, but not right now. True. Let's take that 400 million and rehabilitate, rehabilitate all the existing roads. True. Exactly. I love that. I love that. But yeah. you see, Kola, that is, a really, that is a good idea. But as I tell you every day, and I tell you this, you know, I realize, you see, becoming a, a prime minister, you must understand people and you must understand community and communities. And social interaction plays a major role with that position. If you don't understand the people and how the people live and the, you know, the environment, and if you don't understand that and you don't mingle with the people, you wouldn't know how to spend the government money. You'll waste it. Right now, we really don't need a highway, no big highway, but remember, that is money allocated for supporters, people who contributed to the party, so they had to get a kickback. Contractors and this one and that one had to get a kickback. Engineers, had, everybody had to get a kickback. But at the end of the day, who really suffering? And the, and the caller is right. Toilet breaking down in our house, the, the faucet's leaking, but you changing roof and starting to paint outside. And feces floating in the apartment. So you're going to leave that, live in that, but fix the roof. Caller is right. And that is why I tell you every day that common sense can go a very long way. And not because you might have a master and a PhD and a doctorate and you might be X and Y, Z and, and whatever. Once you have common sense and you have the right people around, you can run the show. Take what I tell you. I understand the show. Call a good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. I'm looking for the suspect in connection with the death of Kevin Wilson, who was stabbed multiple times in Beatham. Hi, Call a good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Good afternoon, Mr. Allen. Good afternoon, Prem. Good, good work, man. Good work, brother. Good. You all right? Thank you again. Ladies and gentlemen, when we come back, Kokorit Man shot on the Beatham Highway is the son of a sea of seaman and waterfront workers trade union president Michael Anestet. I'm sure you know Michael Anestet. His son, ladies and gentlemen, that's the man yesterday who was shot in front of the Beatham. But when I come back, there are some questions I would like to ask. I mean, I'm saddened. I mean, he's a father, and I can imagine how he's feeling. And, you know, but it's very, very unfortunate. But we need to get down to the bottom of this. Why would anybody want to kill, sorry, shoot the, this man? Let's take a break. It's the final extension of Fab India Expo, located at the white tent opposite Medford Gas Station, Shogunas, closing on November 19th. Post the Wali sale. Everything must sell. Get up to 50% off, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. From ready-made garments to religious items, free medical camp, courtesy Life Care Medical Center. You name it, we have it. Fab India Expo, closing on November 19th.
Closing down sale now begins as Indra and Style is closing down for the year. Yes, Indra and Style Expo is closing on 25th November. Get ready-made garments, handicraft, footwear, jewelry, toys, furniture and much more. Biggest bargain of the year. Your last chance. No further extensions. Indra and Style Expo at the White Tent Makoya. Definitely closing on 25th November. Grand opening sale at Play Innovations. We carry a wide assortment of toys, pools, trampolines, bouncy castles, and lots more. 10% off store-wide and free gifts with all purchases. Play Innovations, Unit 1, Burmis Court, Rodney Branch Road, and Devonshire Gornets. Or call 678-2244. Picknall 2007 Limited is the leading manufacturer of foam and foam products. We cut cushions and mattresses to any size from baby to king in different entities. Our signature mattress, the Spinematic, is designed for back problems. We do foam for soundproofing, therapeutic wedge foam, chip foam and pillows. We open Monday to Saturday. Call us on 665-1913 or email us at picknall 2007 limited at gmail.com. Fans of TNT, by popular demand, we have extended our massive sale event. Up to 25% discount on imported living room and dining room sets. Offer ends 23rd November 2018 and does not apply to items that have already been reduced. Fens, the number one name for home furnishings in TNT. Offer available at these branches only. Marabella, Shaguanas, Tunapuna. Please contact us at 650 Fens or visit us in stores for more information. The Ranch Trinity Mall and Seafree Center has now opened its newest branch together with Flame Boy and Cuisine next to Royal Castle Eastern Main Road, QM. Get value for money. We cater for all types of meats with the exception of pork and it's halal certified. For more information, call 223-5200 or 730-0395. Matai Imports Limited, one of the largest wholesaler and retailer for all 4x4 SUV and car accessories. Come check us out for our new arrivals on Body Kit, etc. Located at 3 Hassanali Trace, Lower Barkpo. Contact 289 4901 360 or 484 7467. Ladies and gentlemen, a cockroach man, was the man who was shot on the beat of yesterday, is the son of Seaman and Waterfront Workers Trade Union President Michael Anestet. Around 8.30 8 a.m. yesterday, two masked men, armed with high-powered weapons, jumped out of a car near the flyover of National Petroleum in the Westbound Lane and fired shots at his vehicle. You know, the guy is critical, eh? The men turned their guns pointing the driver of a silver teeter, Dwayne King, of building 12 water hole cookery. They then proceeded to spray the vehicle bullets. King lost control of the teeter and crashed into the other vehicle before running into the railing that separates the west and east bong lane. It is alleged that Dwayne King... Now, let me explain something to you. Now, this is a short video there when he was shot on the ground. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. And good evening to you, sir. I am calling from West Moorings. Hi. I just wanted to make one comment, which will be very quick, because uh, the bees on people are not bad people. Uh -huh. When the cyclists on the got into the accident, the bees on residents were the first to come out and do their good deeds in terms of helping saving lives. Uh -huh. And I have not heard anybody comment about the good deeds about the people from the beat -em. And I want... Go ahead. Oh, you remember the video she was, she was speaking about? Remember Sunday? Sunday, there was a... Saturday, in fact, Saturday, ladies and gentlemen, I know what, I know what she's talking about. On Saturday, um, where's my rundown for Monday? Um, so, uh, that, uh, that, no, that is uh, British National, uh, and Joe Brown and Joanna Banks, they were cycling with Slipstream Cycling Group and the beat up and they crashed by some driver lost control and this is what happened and that is what the caller was talking about and the beat up people assisted them but whoever said nothing good can't come out of the beat up that's a lie there are good people in the beat up 
They are good, good people. You see what the what what caller could say? That when they crash, I mean, it's so sad. This it's is so, so sad. The beaten people, they were there and they never robbed anybody. They were trying to help the injured, wait for the ambulance and whatnot. But you'll never hear no media house run with that. You will never hear the, 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 um, the, the media run with that at all. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Let's go back to the, uh, the Kokorit story. Now, I am hearing rumors with respect to the shooting of Dwayne King. Now, it is on, on, on social media, social media, on, 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 on a, 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 a public domain, is it true that Dwayne King is or was the driver for a person of interest by the name of Jelani Parkinson, who is wanted in connection with the murder of Stephen Gonzalez, an attempted murder of driving instructor Naresh Harilal? You all remember that? That took place on September the 26th. Remember the, the, the uh, Stephen Gonzalez, who was learning to drive and he was shot. This is the Gonzalez boy. And the driving instructor, Naresh Hiralal, was injured. So we are hearing that now Jelani was the person of interest that police was looking for. All on social media, you are hearing that the man who was shot yesterday, who was shot yesterday in front of Beatham, it is alleged. Now it is alleged. He that alleges must prove. So I'm just, now just, I'm, I'm, I just, this is all over the media right now. Social media. So I'm asking the same question. I'm asking the same question. I don't know. All right? Now, last night, ladies and gentlemen, I saw something someone sent me. Now, I know the people that taped the, 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 the clip. I was having dinner, and... Now, I have to tell you where I was having dinner. Mind your business. Okay, I was having dinner. I kind of have a life, eh? I kind of have a life. I kind of have a life. And I don't know if some of you feel that every day and every second of the day. I mean, I'm passionate about what I do. I eat and sleep and dream everything about Crime Watch and making sure you get justice. But sometimes I, I kind of go in a little zone and, you know, as they say, take a little ducker and eat something and relax, get some Jones and move on. And someone sent me a video. And, well, I know the girl, Sharon, and um, the other person, I don't want to call the other person name. And they sent this video to me with this guy on the vehicle, coming out of the vehicle and sitting on the, on the bonnet of a moving vehicle on, on, on the, on, on the, on the um, hood, sorry. I say, but what madness is this boy? And this is about 60 miles per hour. What, what, what speed is that? But let me ask you something. Why the driver did not stop the vehicle and hit him some lash in the head? So open up the lines. So, but before, go, no, no, don't go to that as yet. Take off that mini, please. Okay? So this guy here, was seen on the highway last night, sitting on top of the vehicle. I don't know, they said he wanted to commit suicide. And let me tell you this, sir. Let me tell you this, and people don't understand. And sometimes in life, you, sometimes it's kind of funny how you say it, but when you go through things in life, to understand poverty, you must be poor. Now, I am not saying that, now when I say poverty, I say, I maybe, how I grew up, I grew up in a little board house in Bilger Road. And we didn't have everything, but I know we had food. We had food. When, when, when six o'clock reached every evening, 
My grandmother, now deceased, she would cook, maybe make a roti, and cover it down in a little cooler, Saratex cooler with a little cloth, and some little thing we might eat, baji or some little curry thing or something, but food, six o'clock, and then she would sit on the step, and I don't know if some of you could ever remember this, there was a program, and I, could always, I, will, I will never forget as long as I live, a program where a guy used to come up and say, starring Gitanjali. Yeah? Starring Gitanjali was a, a, an East Indian program. And this woman would sit down by this step and listen to every song and hum every swan, rat, everything, just hum it. And I would sit down like watching this lady, like, what man, this is this boy. But she liked this song and that was the thing, you know. And watch up in the sky and tell me one day I go get big and I go get, and you know old people think that you get big son, you go build a nice house. When you have your car, you carry your grandmother for drive and what can I talk? But you know, it, but bottom line, she was a decent woman. No police never came to our house. Respectable people. I grew up with respectable people. But from then to where I am now, things happen. And when things happen, you get depressed. And when I went through what I went through two years ago, let me tell you this, sir. Your brain could only take, your, your, your mental faculty could only take up to a certain point. It's like a computer. If you overload a computer, it will crash. And even the Mac, sometimes it don't matter how distinguished and how expensive a computer, a computer can be. Even I realize what they, the Mac, our Mac computer that does all our IT stuff and what, all the Mac computers in the high-end Mac, big-time Mac computers that we have put, we, we bought when I started off. What they realize, this thing beach ball, and I accent sucks. Our IT guy is saying, does that happen on a mic? He said, yes, they were overloading everything. I said, okay. And sometimes your brain like that. And sometimes you don't know what people go through in life. You don't know what challenges they go through. And sometimes people just don't talk. They just don't talk. And I would tell you this. What I went through, I, I don't know if, I don't know, the, the, the only thing, the only person that had to be with me was the good Lord. Because I don't know how I didn't go mad as yet. And there are times I would sit down in this place, Berlin here, and sit down like I'm, ask, you can ask people who was building this with me, with no money, nothing, and just sit down and just daydream for hours in the like sit down so, and thinking a hundred and one thoughts, all kind of thing, all kind of thing that you think you crash and you, you know, you have, that, that nothing work out and you, you reach this age and you don't come from poverty and you don't come from nothing and somebody come and mash you up and I know the worst part about life is when you come from nothing and when you cannot reach up, somebody come and bust your throat. But not knowing destiny, when you are destined for greatness, do who can come and bust your throat? There's always a tomorrow. So I don't know what that man was going through. You don't know. So don't quit. I, I mean, I, that is why we need to focus. Focus on some of these psychiatric hospitals and psychiatric units and lines and whatnot. There are people who need counseling and there are people who need help. There are people who need people to talk to. Now I'm saying go and hold on mean, 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 mean that you're getting psychiatric help. Now. Go to a psychiatrist or somebody who's trained in the field. So it sucks it's not because you're talking in the night or something that means you're getting help. But nevertheless, this guy was seen on this car and he's, dry, he's coming out and sitting on the bonnet. On, oh, sorry, on the hood of the car. Martin, lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen, lo and behold, Lo and behold, 20 minutes later, he, this guy, 20 minutes later, watch what he did. Watch what he did, watch. Car coming down, watch what this man, watch. Way boy. You don't know, you, and it's sad, you don't know. You don't know if he had problems home. You don't know if he, his wife left him. You don't know, you don't know what people go through. And some of you might say you're strong and you're this and that, but when you go through things, your brain, you, you can't take it no more. You don't know what could cause this boy to go like that. Open up your lines. Hi, caller. Good evening. Watch this. Hello. Hi, caller. Good evening. Yeah, good night. Uh-huh. Yeah, relative to the racket with the social um, checks, I think that the Minister of Social um, Welfare should, should make a statement on this matter. They wouldn't make a statement because they feel embarrassed. They would not make a statement because they feel very embarrassed. They feel embarrassed because Ian Allen highlighted it. 
They feel embarrassed because I was able to expose it. They feel embarrassed because a senior official in the ministry in tongue don't get locked up already. They feel embarrassed and more people, she needs to come out and tell people. <coughs> now, I don't take a break. Not because I want to cough. Not because, I, as you say, I start a sorry, okay, you know, you start. <coughs> mm. Can't tell you what drinking. But nevertheless, nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, they need to come out and tell the nation something because it's bigger than you and I. It's bigger than you and I. It's millions of dollars. People in one house, the mother get a check, the father get a check, the children get a check, and all kind of things. I can remember, I, I saw people, you know, the amount of people WhatsApp me today and give me names. A woman in St. Augustine, Melissa, and she was born. Get check already in St. Augustine. She get a check, the husband get a check. Real fraud thing. Anybody in fraud thing without check, WhatsApp me on 290-4426-330-4426. Put up your number, Charlene. But that case, with that attempted suicide, is the guy critical? He needs help. He needs help. He needs help. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You just don't know. Don't be too quick about your more because let me tell you something. It happens to the best of us. It's just some people might take up a gun and shoot themselves. Is that some people might drink grammar zone? And let me tell you this, yeah? People could say what? People could say what? Only who in the kitchen feels the heat? You could say what you want. I will never. Because it's a night. I sat down and I said, boy, I really give up, boy. I don't know what to do again. I give up. But when I look, I say, you know what? I'll, I'll press on. And sometimes in life, you need to press on. I wanted to commit suicide when, yeah, I was, no, I was depressed. I was depressed. I was very depressed. And sometimes, sometimes in life, you can reach a, 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 the, the bottom of the barrel, you know. You can reach down and out, you know. Sometimes when nothing working out and you just crash, you crash. And, and it's like who you are. Sometimes, you, you see, and that is why celebrities across the world. Because, and don't matter, Sunday, you might have things. And, because... What about the people from Petrochen who gone home? What about, didn't I not come and tell you that government, that the government coming after T, um, TSTT? And I come right here, I, st I stood up right here and say, TSTT going on gate. They're going on gate. Last year I tell you that, last year I said that. I said, TSTT going to get it. Lo and behold, they have intentions of, of you know, people's jobs have become redundant. So you have to reapply your job. Well, that is it, go up the road. What's going to happen with these people? What's going to happen with their mortgage? When I looked at my mortgage and I look at how I live in, I say, well, wait, now, what are you really going to do? Why? Because remember, when you work for a certain amount of money, your lifestyle is different. And you can't get vexed for that. People live a different lifestyle based on what, how they earn. I just said that you are, how, who's going to readjust your mortgage now? Who's going to readjust your installment for your cars? If you're working for a salary of 15000 and maybe your, 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 your mortgage for your, your, your installment for your vehicle was six five, Now, you have to go and look and see if you get a job for $5,000 now. Bank going to repossess your car. Who going to carry the children to school? Your daughter writing common entrance uh, uh, year next year. What going to happen? You see, people not thinking. Nobody's thinking. Nobody coming out. Nobody coming out and saying nothing because nobody cares. Nobody cares. People thieving money in fraud, in, in fraud, check and whatever, but nobody here, nobody coming out. And that is the approach that everybody has here. Keep it, but that is what, whatever happened, happened. I thought a big racket in disability check, all kind, of, all kind of racket. And if we're talking about cleaning up crime and white collar crime, I would like the commissioner of police to pay special attention to this fraud check business. Pay special attention. And I must compliment fraud squad. That they went straight to the office because they realized I don't know what's going on. So I want to compliment them and congratulate them on a, a job and, an, and, uh, and the investigation has not ended. It's ongoing. Let us take a break.
it's all about the brand set Christmas sale. By popular demand, our buy three, get the fourth free on passenger SUV and 4x4 sizes has been extended till Christmas Eve. This is how we at Brand Tech Limited say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I mean, then why go other places for free ham and grog when you can go at Brand Tech Limited and get a free tire? Visit us today at number 10 Londonville Main Road, Chaguanas. Contact us via telephone 672-8575. Email us at brandtechltd at gmail.com. It's your journey, our passion, always at Brand Tech. Annual Diwali to Christmas sale now on at Elegant Draperies. Opening now on Sundays from 9.30 a.m. till Christmas. We carry the widest selection of curtains and drapery, fabrics, rods and accessories. Big discounts for Diwali to Christmas. We have something for each room in your home. Elegant Draperies, 29 Todd Street, San Fernando, next to Palkey's Restaurant, 04657-5287. The grand opening of Homeland Marketing Company Limited, beautiful wrought iron products for gates, fences, building proof and lots more. Come and view a large stock of ready-made wrought iron designs, paints, tools and welding products. Visit us at 44 Montrose Main Road, Chiconers. Call 235-GATE or 235-IRON. Come check us out at Masca South Motors, the preferred new car dealer where you will find the best in quality, service and price. Now in stock, Toyota Hilux Revo, Prado, Four Tuners, Nissan Navara, Honda CRV, and introducing the all new Ford Ranger Raptor. Only at Masca South Motors, South Chong Road, La Romaine. The place real hot, the fan not cutting it, and your budget little tight. Then you need to contact Neil Cool today. They are Trinidad and Tobago number one provider for top brand air condition units such as Delta, Comfy, Daikin, and Lennox. Units starting as low as $2,250 in store, plus you're getting five years warranty. Contact Neil Cool today and experience the comfort you always wanted. When next you're traveling abroad or visiting Trinidad, check out Piaco Airport Souvenirs, Indigenous Fantasy, for all your souvenirs from printed t-shirts, local dolls, ceramics, and lots more. For more information, call telephone 669-0592 or 669-0325. Your one-stop shop for all your souvenirs. Sheikli Show Limited, the Caribbean's largest manufacturers of plain and printed paper bags, leaders in plastic bags, vermicelli, split piece powder, and greaseproof paper, ideal for doubles, french fries, and sandwiches. Supplying stores nationwide. For quality products, trust Sheikli Show Limited, 665-3336. The Wellness Center introduces the Superfricator. It instantly removes skin growths and irregularities like skin tags, age spots, ring flesh, and spots from the face and body. Using non-surgical procedures, the Wellness Center can instantly lift the face, bust, arms, and legs, treat psoriasis and dermatitis, remove puffy dark eye circles, double chin, wrinkles, and even restore bold, thinning hair. Call Mrs. Bagan, a qualified medical aesthetician with over 30 years of experience for a microscopic consultation. Call 673-7418. extension of Fabinger Expo, located at the white tent opposite Medford gas station Shogunas, closing on November 19th, post Diwali sale, everything must sell, get up to 50% off, 11am to 9pm, from ready-made garments to religious items, free medical camp, courtesy Life Care Medical Center, you name it, we have it, Fabinger Expo, closing on November 19th. Closing down sale now begins as Indian Style is closing down for the year. Yes, Indian Style Expo is closing on 25th November. Get ready-made garments, handicraft, footwear, jewelry, toys, furniture and much more. Biggest bargain of the year. Your last chance. No further extensions. Indian Style Expo at the White Tent Makoya. Definitely closing on 25th November. Hey, hey. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Also, um, a Trinidadian man is a, a suspected to have killed his girlfriend in Brooklyn. 
Another one, eh? 58-year-old Trinidadian man, Romeo Bo Borneo, is suspected of slitting the throat of his 47-year-old girlfriend, Erica Renewed, in the Brooklyn apartment yesterday after she slit his own wrist. What bacchanal is this, boy? God, boy. Y'all are making bad for people when they go Mali Street, you know? They're making bad for people. Police responded to a 911 call around 5 a.m. yesterday for an assault inside the fifth floor apartment of Lefferts Avenue. Arriving there, they found a renewed body which showed signs of indicating she had been dead for several hours before being discovered. Police recovered a knife inside the apartment where she and Borneo lived. No one else was believed to be inside the apartment at the time. But do you know, ladies and gentlemen, on Thursday, the 8th of November, a 32 year old girl, and, 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 and listen to me, that girl, Jenny, Jack Dale. Jenny, Jack Dale, and I were real good friends, eh? I'm telling you. Jenny, Jack Dale, and I were real partners when she was in Trinidad, and a real partner. We saw, we saw pump, as they say. And that was so, so sad. I mean, she had worked with, um, she had worked with Davey Budu Singh. In fact, I took her. I took that girl there, Jenny. Together, I worked with Davey Budu Singh, and she met everybody, and she started to work in Port of Spain and whatnot. And... It is so, she, and she's from a great, great family, yeah? Really, really nice family. And this is a girl that died. She was murdered on Sunday, the 11th of November. No, sorry, on, um, on, sorry, sorry, sorry. On the 8th of November, Thursday, the 8th of November, a 26-year-old, Michael Turley, was found dead on Tuesday morning, Thursday morning in an apartment in Miami. Both had been shot multiple times by an alleged ex-boyfriend, 27-year-old Tails Ferreira. Ferreira was arrested while trying to board a flight to Brazil, and he was charged with two counts of first-degree murder. Now, let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to you. Where was he arrested? Where was he arrested? At the airport. How do these people know? At that time in Miami, right there are millions of people, when they discover that body, to find him boarding a flight. How do they know that? Which means to say they're thinking ahead of the game. And you ask yourself, what role does immigration, that does the airport play to, be, to immigration plays with respect to solving murders about perpetrators attempting to escape, elude the police on them? So that's why automatically, once a suspect name comes up, he already has a red flag. So if he attempts to, 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 to take a flight anywhere in Miami or board any kind of vessel, his name already on his system. So when they, they put a red flag, they realize, bam, but he's waiting to go to Brazil. So you see? You see? Here? Yeah? Boy, I tell you, you could go see Dress and come back. You could go to New York and come back. And when you come back, you can take out all your tattoo and all your gold tooth and love under new management. I'm telling you. That is how lame we are. But don't worry, we're stepping up our game. We're stepping up our game. Also, cops stop illegal entry of immigrants. Today, 12 boats transporting dozens of Venezuelans remain anchored in the Matla district as police coast guard and immigration officers monitor the area to prevent what was described as an attempt to enter country illegally. It's 12 boats? Where is this? Where is this? Tobago Great Race? This is Tobago Great Race? It's 12 boats, you know, 12 boats. But look when they hold the venue, how much gun they get in. That's where you should pull back. Pull back those, those, those clips on Monday or yesterday. Two Venezuelan men. Look what they got. They were charged by Venezuelan nationals, so that's what they bring in when they come in. That's how they're starting up. Small little gun, and you see, even though, let me tell you something, arms and ammunition in Venezuela to Copita, people have access to these things very easily because of the borders and whatnot. They can go to Brazil, wherever, and do your thing. So guns... You have access to it. So when they come here, remember, they're not working. When the Venezuelans come here, they're not working up there because they're hungry. They come here hungry. Nothing working out up there. But what they come with? 
They might come with a two nines. They might come with this because Venezuelan, some Venezuelan nationals were caught with, with, with this amount of drugs, or with this amount of ammunition. So they will come with that. So that is a start out. They might get 20,000. So you know what they will do? Lock down an apartment, pay for six months, the landlord do business because he get any money, and start it off. Start to bring a little man and thing, and little, little, um, little girls and young girls and thing. <laughs> Wait, boy. Oh, I got mash up there. <laughs> As my good friend Ding, the mechanic on, in, in, in Arango, say, you're dead in the war. But nevertheless, that's what they will start up. And they will do their thing. So, because, think about it. You, you, you have no jobs. So, you, will you getting money to come? When you come, will you come in with? With this? No. Yeah, you, you might be able. But then again, stupid man in Trinidad here. Ain't a real stupid man who never get a woman before. Any man, I was telling somebody this. Any man who play in the sports in Spanish girls, they have a very low self-esteem. They think little of themselves because you know why? That is an embarrassment. It just goes to show no Trini girl here were you. So you have to go outside of the box. That is it. And imagine what kind of man, what kind of man are you to pay for love and pay for sex? Why? You so desperate? That like tell you, me? Why tell you watch me? People have to pay me, boy, to take out my clothes. I would never do that. I would just wouldn't do that because I think highly of myself. Because I believe in Trinidad and Tobago. And of the islands, they are beautiful women. But especially in Trinidad and Tobago, we have beautiful girls, beautiful women. So why would I go and hang out with a Spanish girl? Because bam, bam. Why? That trusty man thing. Were you seeing that? Sucks. So I hope you already learned tonight. You understand? So today, ladies and gentlemen, 12 boats carrying illegal immigrants were intercepted in the Matlat area. So you see how they, 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 they changed the route from Cedrus and they go on down Matlat. Open up the lines, look at the photo, open up the lines. I call a good evening, you're live on Crime Watch. Tell you what you're down on your set. And remember, our flood drive continues and the deadline is Saturday. So you can go to any First Citizen Bank, those of you who wish to send PayPal, you do it. Hi, caller, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Good night, Mr. Allen. Good night. Um, just to just, uh, sidetrack a little bit from what you're talking about. Um, you need to go down with a camera, go down to San Fernando General Hospital, the car park there. The patients can get a place to park. They, they, they send it down the hill, people on wheelchair. We need to give them a check in the morning. I'll just watch a crew in the morning. Yeah, because we're doing a new ad for Double Palm. Remember when you do an ad with us, Double Palm opened a new, a, 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 a new place just at the side of, the side of Rising Star? Robert, what street? Robertson Street. Where's Charlene? San Fernando. I find you know the name of the street well, Charlene. But Charlene, Charlene said that if anybody has information about illegal immigrants, she wants to know because she wants to send them back. And she's a girl making sure she take the call. <laughs> but nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, it's a serious, serious thing. But I realize today police officers attend court for hearing. That, and this is in connection with the 2011 murder of three friends in Maruga. I'll tell you the role that Crime Watch played in that when we come back. Grand opening sale at Play Innovations. We carry a wide assortment of toys, pools, trampolines, bouncy castles, and lots more. 10% off storewide and free gifts with all purchases. Play Innovations, Unit 1, Burmis Court, Rodney Branch Road, and Devon Shagornas, or call 678-2244. The Ranch Trent City Mall and Seafree Center has now opened its newest branch together with Flame Boy and Cuisine next to Royal Castle, Eastern Main Road, QM. Get value for money. We cater for all types of meats with the exception of pork and it's halal certified. For more information, call 223-5200 or 730-0395.
Picknall 2007 Limited is the leading manufacturer of foam and foam products. We cut cushions and mattresses to any size from baby to king in different densities. Our signature mattress, the Spinematic, is designed for back problems. We do foam for soundproofing, therapeutic wedge foam, chip foam and pillows. We open Monday to Saturday. Call us on 665-1913 or email us at picknall 2007 limited at gmail.com. with your purchase. So check us out today or call 653-2355. It's the final extension of Fab India Expo, located at the white tent opposite Medford Gas Station Shogunas. Closing on November 19th, post Diwali sale. Everything must sell. Get up to 50% off, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. From ready-made garments to religious items, free medical camp, courtesy Life Care Medical Center. You name it, we have it. Fab India Expo, closing on November 19th. Closing down sale now begins as Indian Style is closing down for the year. Yes, Indian Style Expo is closing on 25th November. Get ready-made garments, handicraft, footwear, jewelry, toys, furniture, and much more. Biggest bargain of the year. Your last chance. No further extensions. Indian Style Expo at the White Tent Makoya. Definitely closing on 25th November. We at Ramsaran's Dairy Products provides you with healthy drinks served in specially designed pure paperboard cartons, which is sanitary, environmental friendly and biodegradable. Drink from our paperboard cartons rather than plastic and styrofoam containers for a healthier, longer lifestyle. Try our creamy, smooth, delicious, pasteurized, homogenized peanut punch and sour sub milk drinks. It's carefully crafted for your enjoyment. Not forgetting our fresh pasteurized cow's milk, orange, pineapple and moby drinks. For sales and service Contact us at 640-3836 or 298-7945 or email jefframsaran at hotmail.com or visit us at lot number 15 Labour Boulevard, Twin City Industrial Estate. Fans of TNT, by popular demand, we have extended our massive sale event up to 25% discount on imported living room and dining room sets. Offer ends 23rd November 2018 and does not apply to items that have already been reduced. Fens, the number one name for home furnishings in TNT. Offer available at these branches only. Marabella, Shagwanas, Tunapuna. Please contact us at 650 Fens or visit us in stores for more information. Matai Imports Limited, one of the largest wholesaler and retailer for all 4x4 SUV and car accessories. Come check us out for our new arrivals on Body Kit, etc. Located at 3 Hassanali Trace, Lower Barkpo. Contact 289 4901 360 8773 or 484 7467. Ladies and gentlemen, but that, that 12 boats coming in in Matlat is a very serious thing, huh? You know, I can remember, and this is serious, like I tell you here, it had a girl on Rodney Road. You know Rodney Road? But have all these places on Rodney Road in Shogunas. She She's HIV positive. She's a Venezuelan national. And the amount of people, oh boy, that thing just frightening. Frightening, it's frightening. And sometimes, this is a serious topic, eh? that you do not know what lifestyle some of these girls had while they were in Venezuela, Cuba, wherever, these non-nationals. You see, in Trinidad, they might be lying and ch checking a woman. She might be from Debe, but you could still call somebody and say, boy, a man was with that soul boy, but she, but she near one man boy. Ting, ting, ting. You could still do a little search now. You understand, socks? They might be checking a girl in St. Augustine. They might call her partner. But you know who she's a line boy? But then break up a long time. But she's not a bright up girl and thing. She'll be home on the whole day with she mother and them and making roti and going market and thing and all kind of thing. She's a good girl. 
Next one, imagine, now she's going to church and in that girl, she went to temple and thing, but she's so jolly and thing. She eating salt on a Thursday and thing. You can still run a search on them now. But when you go with somebody who does not live here, you don't know the track record. They could do okay. It's like buying a foreign used engine. You don't know, you don't know the mileage. You don't know who, I mean, it's another way you could search and see what kind of, I mean, because you could back there, you could, you could back there, you could back there, you know you could do that. You could back date it and make it look like it no, it's a new thing, but you ain't no new? Huh? New with smooth tires. Yeah, but it's frightening, it's frightening. And I tell you, you know, and mark my word, in a couple of years from now, you would see, you would see the HIV rate in this country. Give it a year or two again, you will see. Because of these non nationals coming here and Trinidad men or women, and not so much women, Trinidad men not knowing the history of these young ladies and going back to the good, good wife, you know, the good, good wife home because you want some sexy thing. Tusty man thing, tusty man thing, because you don't know. You do. Now, this is no way to discredit nobody, you know, but I'm just telling you about a case. And I think I've been a, I've been a, a, a trained Begonian. I've been somebody who, who, who loved Trinidad and Tobago. I bring it to the attention of men who are watching right now. You need to be very cautious. You need to be very cautious. And keep your game inside Trinidad and Tobago. Keep your game in this dance. Anytime you see a start to jump, but you don't know the history. Because I hear now, look, look, look what they're talking to somebody. He tell me, boy, let me make a lime now, boy. Ting, ting, ting. Ting, boy. I say, serious? You know, like, what can I do? Serious, I mean. Boy, real nice thing, boy. I say, wait. Boy, they say this. Yeah, you know, the body girls can like pop. Boy. I say, what's she wrong? I said, boy, you mad, boy. I got it. I back on that thing, boy. I trust him, man. I'm not on that. Now, that's been, I've been real to you. I've been real to you. And that is why men out there know what time it is. HIV is real. Multiple partners. And you don't know who is coming. You sleep with one person who sleep with 10 persons. Like you, it's like you sleep with 10 persons already, you know. With, with, with this one person, you don't know what they're doing abroad. And it's frightening. It is frightening because man leaving their wife, man leaving their good girl, girl. I, I, I know a girl right now. I don't want to call her name because I know she's watching. I know she will start to cry. She and she boyfriend going on real good. They're going movies. They're eating dinner. They're going by hangers. They're dancing. They're going rice. They're eating. Lo and behold, I see she crying what day it was. Is that Spanish girl take she boyfriend in her? I had to put that to sit down and say, yeah, relax yourself, ting, 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 relax yourself. But it's sad, but I explained to her, I said, you need to be cautious. If he, sh if he should come back, go and do a test, go and do things, go do this, you know, because you don't know, you don't know, you don't know, you don't know, and it's frightening. I mean, these women come in, they're really pretty, they're nice, they're nice. But not everything glitter is gold. Also, ladies and gentlemen, police officers attend court for hearing. Acting Sergeant Kim Raj Sahadi, PC Ronaldo Rivera, Glenn Singh, Roger, Roger Nicholas, Safras Juman, and Antonio Ramden appeared before Justice Artiel Alexis Windsor in Portsmouth High Court on Tuesday. Appeared in, in High Court on Tuesday for the 2011 murder of three friends in Maruga. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it is alleged. That the six police officers shot and killed Abiel Johnson, Alana Duncan, and Karen Fingers Eccles on July 22, 2011. On, on, on the 9th of January, the home of PC Rogers. Now, this is. A, I ain't jumping into that yet. But it's in connection with these people. But do you know, ladies and gentlemen, now I don't want to prejudice the case, neither give it a pre publicity trial, but I remember ex examining these three people's bodies. Three of them, the three of them. And one thing I notice, now I, I don't want, I don't want to say nothing to, to really. I remember, but yeah, I had just reached, I had just re reached TV six, and I remember protesting with the people. I don't want to tell you the role we played, but we played a very pivotal role. I remember when I when I turned over Abigail body, I couldn't understand. How the back had no had, had had a gunshot wound, but the front didn't have any. And there were those days in, the, in that time, Dwayne Gibbs was around. And I remember I was in the protest with the people and them in 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 in, in um my up there. Remember, this is me. Yeah. Morning. Hello, morning. The front of um Abigail's home, huh?
11, yeah? 2011. So if all you feel like I'm a journey come lately, that's what I understand this dance more than anybody else, you know. I understand this dance more than, and ask the people, ask the people, ask the people down there, the role I play. Just ask them, you must ask them. But we will leave it up to the courts. We will leave it up to the courts. SRP constable goes to work wearing her hijab. 39 year old SRP constable, Sharon Ram, Rup, Rup, sorry, attached to the Shogona police station, has taken legal action against the office of the attorney general after she wrote a letter in 2015 seeking permission to wear a hijab as part of her uniform while on work when it was denied. She got no response for two and a half years. Sharon's attorney sent a pre-action protocol letter, as you know, attorney, uh, Senator Gerald Ramdin. She has, they have sent a pre-action protocol letter to the Commissioner of Police, the Minister of National Security, and the Solicitor General. The, pre the representative of the Attorney General the letter highlighted the section of the Police Service Regulation 27, 207, which prevented her from wearing the hijab and called for amendments to the regulation. On Friday the 9th, November, High Court Judge Margaret Mo Mohammed ruled that Sharon was free to, to wear the Muslim garb at work. The judge found that the Police Service Regulation 207 was unconstitutional. So this is a photo with her attorney, and this is the police officer. The law is the law. The law is the law. Full stop. You know, ladies and gentlemen, before we take another, I don't take another break. But I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. With respect to this bonk, this, this check. Remember when we were sitting there? Give me like a, a minute before the girl started in front of the building. Remember this yesterday and we aired it? Just to let you know that official, an official from the ministry head office was taken, taken into custody. Go ahead, Minnie. Come on. Right there. Minnie, we need to get when she started to walk and, and get arrested. I don't want to play 20 minutes. Now, this girl here had assisted us and we got information. Her name was on a check. And when her name was on that check, ladies and gentlemen, apparently somebody, somebody, ladies and gentlemen, they, I don't know how they did it, but it was fraud because she had no flood. And there are a lot of people across Trinidad, Trinidad who had no flood. There are people in certain homes where husband collected check, wife collected check, and even the grandmother collected a check too because they're living in one house. But how it worked is that, is that, they have to give back part of the money. It's a racket thing now. It's a racket thing. It is a racket thing. And I believe there are more people involved in that. And the, 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 the and fraud squad should get to the bottom of it. And I don't believe one girl, one person. And don't think that I would stop. But I want the minister to come out. It had to have more people in that. It had to have more people in that. It had to have more people in that. Because people talking. People talking. And we will put their faces on TV. So these are the people that was taken into custody yesterday when I was able to crack that case. To crack that investigation when it came to my attention one hour time. Remember, these are the people after. If you could give me when when the fraud squad was going in, and this is the lady here, she was taken into custody. This woman here. This was when uh, the the fraud the, the fraud squad was going in to get her. You remember this? Yesterday, all this happened, you know. All this happened. I'm on Independence Square. So those of you, make sure and like my page, Ian Allen Public Figure. Download the app. So you're going to get news before the news, and you can look at the whole video from yesterday. I posted the whole thing on my fan page, and it's a serious thing. It's a very, very serious thing. And it's not a matter of deserve an award. It's racket. Too much people stealing from the public purse. And the day must come. We must deal with the politicians and all. We must deal with the, the contractors and all. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. As you can see, with respect to the fraudulent checks, the one man was taken into custody along with another girl. This man here, he was on the promenade, lazing with the girl in red. This man here. Also, this woman here. So they have to say, and that investigation cannot close as yet because a lot of people involved in that. Yesterday, do you know, yesterday evening, yesterday evening, they went, fraud squad went into the office of, of, of the, uh, the head office of social welfare, so the, the, the social services department in Port of Spain, and they took a young lady into custody one time. And that is good. That is good. That is good. 
And if you fraud squad, if you need any assistance with your iPhones and whatever, because I have more, but I don't want to say yet. I don't want to say yet. I don't want to say yet. As they say, I grew up with old people. So I paranoid. I believe that every shadow is a gonna man. I don't trust people so. You know old people like that? You always be watching so, you're watching so, you're so. Because I grew up with old people, that's why I'm so paranoid. I like to whisper, don't shout. Hi, caller, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Show the video, Mini. Come on. Yes, sir. I'm just uh, curious. You know, we call it Trinbago. Trinbago. But why is there no crime in Tobago? There are crime all over. How much murders we had in Tobago already? Hi, caller. Good evening. We had a homicide in Tobago. Got petty crime in Tobago. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. So we were able, in fact, in one hour, and you see Sunil Barat in the back there? The boy in the, in the plaid shirt? Ask them. They will tell you. It's good information I give them. Good information. And I want to thank Fraud Squad and all the officers who cooperated with us. We had five murders in Tobago for the year. I call it good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. In fact, we had more than that. No, no, five, you're mad. Hi, caller, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. You like you know them people? You have to delete a set of them. Hi, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hello? Take the audio down on your set. And the bigger picture, because let me tell you something. You need to tell me. You need to tell me. Because people thief in government money too much. Ministers thief in government money. People talking this and talking that. You have a man building a house. It's all on Facebook like he never built a house before. But he want that money he have. Where are you building a house for? All them disability check. For a Scotch should visit MTS. In Arangwes. MTS Plaza in Arangwes. In some of these government offices and see rocket running. See rocket. See rocket. Gary Griffith, you need to deal with that. You need to deal with that. You need to deal with that. And I want to thank the Commissioner of Police, who I passed on the information to, and I mean, he will give the green light to certain people to work with me. And I want to tell the Commissioner of Police, thank you. Great guy. Great, great guy. And when I say great police officer, in, say, in, 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 in mentioning that the Commissioner is a great guy, I always want to say a, the, the deceased ACP, Ram Subak passed, as you know, he passed away on Sunday. Today was his funeral. Today was his funeral. And you know what was disappointing and shameless? A lot of the who is who was not at that funeral. Yeah? And I ain't saying funeral. I'm saying funeral. So you might understand that getting a thick skull. Funeral. Not funeral. Funeral. Or they never gone to man funeral. Shameless. Shameless, a man like that who played a pivotal role in Shogona. But what I must say, I saw a lot of my crew from Central. I tell you, Ram Subag, God bless that man. And may his soul rest in peace. He fought a good fight. And he died with his boots on. He died with his boots on. But it was so sad, eh? So, so sad. And I was disappointed. I didn't see nobody really from the executive, but I must say I saw Stephen Williams. He was there. The former, the, for, the former assistant commissioner, acting commissioner. But a lot of people from the executive and a lot of senior subs from around Trinidad who I know knew Stephen Ramsubag well, did not tell. But don't worry. Today I tell you, don't worry. Everybody must die. So when people don't go all their funeral, don't vex. Don't vex. But don't worry. Ramsubag. And I must say, when I met his family, I realized the kind of man he was because you realize his family is not a wele wele people. Very kind of classy, conservative people. You realize that, you know, no wele wele. No, no wele wele children and things. I was watching Jeremy, his sister, all them there, you know. The, 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 the family look like, you know, the, the, you know, class of people. I saw Patsy and all there too. ACP. Everybody was there. 
But it's sad, it's just sad. Let me give you a little clip, really fast. A little clip of the funeral. Go ahead. If you could just keep jumping. All right, this, you're going to see all on the fan page. Go ahead. All right, just go ahead. You're going to see more on my fan page. Look at Sun Ram, Subag here. Stop. This is the sun right here. Stop. This is the sun here who's standing back there. Way hey boy. Look at his wife. Mrs. Ram, Subag. Way hey boy. He looks, he look, he look, 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 Mrs. Ram, Subag here. You're going to see all on my fan page, huh? Yeah? Way hey boy. My lost father, you know. I taped the entire, oh God, Ram Subak, boy, you make me cry, watch. He got a, a military funeral. Three, six, four, three, Lord. Hey, <laughs> Mrs. Dulard, son. Other officers from Shagwana's. In fact, you know what they did? Look, 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 Lopez in the back there. Go, just go back to that clip, Mini. To the back. Lopez. Yeah, look, Lopez in the back here. I think I saw Lopez in the back there. Yeah, look him there. Watch him smile in the back there, watch. Lopez, a great guy. A lot of people like um this guy from Tobago. What's his name again? Do you know the open? Listen to me. Come back to me. Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, when I I, I reached late and you know what happened? You know they opened the casket for me. Open the casket for me to see. I asked them. When I reach, I had already dispatch a camera crew there to make sure I get a full hour of the entire funeral. So it's going to be up on my fan page now. That's Ian Allen, public figure. But when I reached, ladies and gentlemen. They had already closed and they know, and I say, wait, wait, wait. And I say, Mr. Ramsubag, that's his son. I say, Ramsubag, let me get one glimpse of your father, please now. I'm begging you. You understand? And they open it, and I want to tell him thanks. Look at this. You are going to see more of the entire funeral on the fan page. So you can share it for people who couldn't make it to the funeral. All I watch and see all who was in the funeral. Let's take a fast break and go straight to the headlines. It's all about the brand set Christmas sale. By popular demand, our buy three, get the fourth free on passenger, SUV and 4x4 sizes has been extended till Christmas Eve. This is how we at Brand Tech Limited say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I mean then, why go other places for free ham and grog when you can go at Brand Tech Limited and get a free tire? Visit us today at number 10 Londonville Main Road, Chaguanas. Contact us via telephone 672-8575. Email us at brandtechltd at gmail.com it's your journey our passion always at brand tech the ranch trinity mall and c3 center has now opened its newest branch together with flame boy and cuisine next to royal castle eastern main road curem get value for money we cater for all types of meats with the exception of pork and it's halal certified for more information call 223-5200 or 730-0395 Come on in to RMA Hardware today for all your building supplies from start to finish. We have decking sheets, under ceiling, new wave galvanized 26 gauge painted, I-beam, C and C purlin, gypsum board, French style steel windows, red and concrete blocks, pickup at factory, T-cell cement, corrugated steel, garbage bins and much much more at competitive prices and that inclusive so check us out today. Stuff and Drugs now open at Heartland Plaza in Shiguana's first world drugstore with best prices on drugs, vitamins, toiletries, stationery, grocery items, baby products and more. We also carry British Parliament Hilden Water, Mara Beans imported directly from Italy, Bottle Nexium, Allegra, Zitec, Gome Foods and Snacks, a selection of products not offered by any other pharmacy in Trinidad. So visit us today. 
Top of Farm Guest House. Newest location at Shivan Drive, Sandy Grandy. Enter unnoticed with that special summon. Secure parking and fully air conditioned rooms. Open 24 hours for your convenience. Visit us today or call 299 3268. This person really push is really fast. Remember, here now I want to go and get some people arrested looking for gun and drugs. I look I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. But you see that man there? He has some warrant. I look, tell me where I could find this man. Tell me where I could find this man really fast. Look at him. What's his name? Anderson Paul of Enterprise. Tell me where I could find this man tonight. What's up me on 290-4426? I want to know where I could find Anderson Paul. Leave that picture up. I need him by tomorrow. I need him by today. I need him by tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we out of time. We're looking for Anthony York. Person of interest really fast. Anthony York. Come on, come on, Socks. What is the problem? Anthony York. Lester, Her Le Lester Herrera. Herman Babulal. Fat man to talk now. Darren Henry. Karen Goljar. Vishnu Ragbir. Aaron Siram. Keston Joel Palal. Dale Maraj. Also, ladies and gentlemen, here now I want to focus and I'm focusing on this check thing. To tomorrow, I want it in my entire program. Uh, we want to gather information right here and, and call him because I, I, I'm going to pull about that entire check thing. That whole fraud thing. Get in contact with me. Make sure and get your ad on crime watch. Everybody watching, we want to advertise anywhere else. You don't want to make money? Make money. I get, get your ad on crime watch. This is Ian Allen. This is crime watch. Good night. And remember, I'm looking for that Paul, man. Put that back in spit. Yeah, that's serious. Put it. Put the. Thank you. There's a jungle out. There's a. There's a. There's a jungle out. There's a jungle out there. And the hunt is on. There's a jungle out there. And the hunt is on. We're going to hunt you down. We're going to hunt you down. We're going to come. We ain't playing. It's the last thing.